how to have a healthy relationship, seven relationship tips. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Let's talk about healthy relationship. Today I will talk about relationship in general with your spouse, with your children, with your parents, with your friends, with your neighbors, with your co-workers, with people uh, who are important for you. If you would like to know how to be happy in romantic relationship, how to make them last forever, I will leave the link to a separate video below this one. So uh, make sure to watch it after this video because tips are a little bit different. So today I will share with you seven tips about healthy relationship in your life. Let's start. Tip number one is physical contact. Uh, put your guard down and let other person to enter your personal space. Physical contact, uh, touches, hugs, kisses. On average, every person needs seven hugs per day. How many hugs do you get? How many hugs do you give? So physical contact is very important for healthy relationship. Tip number two is open communication. Share your thoughts, share your ideas. Don't be afraid to express yourself. Share your concerns, ask your questions. So. Healthy relationship tip number two is open communication. Tip number three is stop using general questions. Be more personal. Uh, try to avoid questions with yes or no answers or with the short answers. For example, instead of asking how you doing, ask what did you do today? Because when you ask a person how you doing, the person can say fine. How was your day? Fine. So in this way, you cannot create a communication. So um, use the questions that will require a full answer. Uh, you can say what's new in your life? How was your trip? Instead of, are you hungry? You can say, what uh, do you prefer for dinner tonight? So create questions where people can actually tell you a story, share something about their lives. Tip number four is to listen and ask questions. So practice listening. A lot of time we don't actually listen our opponent. We, when the person is talking, we're thinking about our stuff, our problems, our life. So we don't really involve in other person's life. And that's why we have a lot of miscommunications, a lot of conflicts and the simple thing is just to listen you know when the person is talking dedicate one two maybe three minutes of your life uh, to listening what the person is uh, telling you tip number five is i statement uh, remember from the video how to be happy in relationship i already talked about i statement when you're saying I feel angry, I feel sad, instead of saying you made me feel bad, you, uh, it's your fault. So I statement is when you're talking about your own feelings, not blaming other person. Uh, I'm not going to repeat myself. The link uh, to that video will be below this one. Make sure to watch it and let's move on. Tip number six is to be grateful. I talk about this almost in every video uh, because it's extremely important. Uh, Try to say thank you to other person and be a little bit more specific. You can say thank you for spending five minutes and explain to me this or thank you for making tea for me. I really appreciate you helping me. And even if it's something small, you can still say thank you. So tell the person how much you value, respect and appreciate him or her in your life. Be grateful. And tip number seven is do not underestimate the person. Be supportive. We all need a person who is going to tell us, I love you, you are great, I trust you, you have an amazing qualities, I believe in you, you can do it, go ahead. So if your friend, uh, for example, is looking for a new job and maybe he or she is afraid um, or feel nervous about the interview, you can say something like, uh, of course you're gonna be a great candidate for this job. You have amazing qualities, you're an amazing person. You know, go for it. So we need someone who is gonna support us and believe in us. So do not underestimate a person. Opposite, be supportive and see the best quality, the best in your friends, in your relatives, in your loved ones and your children. The links to how to make your relationship 
last loan, how to be happy in the relationship will be below this video. Make sure to watch it. Share this video with your friends, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, subscribe to my channel. Do not miss new videos because I release them every week. And thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.